the story of Toby the Tortoise. been afraid of spiders, Lucy. Since I saw a scary film on TV about big hairy ones that oh, bite. Not all spiders are mean. This one's very friendly. See? <gasps> Get it away from me! Lucy's a scaredy cat! Now, now, everybody's afraid of something. But even the shyest animals overcome their fears. Are you talking about Toby the Tortoise, Nelson? Oh, please tell me that story, Nelson. Mmm. Toby was so scared of thunderstorms. And those happen a lot in Africa. Of course, none of the animals like thunderstorms very much. So when a dark cloud covered the sky, everyone ran for cover. But Toby couldn't run fast enough. Oh no! Leave me alone, thunderstorm! It was the sound of the thunder that really frightened Toby. He decided he would stay inside his shell forever, because he never wanted to hear another thunderstorm again. Never! 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 The next morning, the sun rose over the savannah, and all the animals came out from their shelters. Oh, that was a wild storm last night. I didn't mind. It's made everything smell really fresh now. Good morning, Toby. Come out and play with us. Toby, are you in there? Of course he's in there. Tortoises don't leave their shells. So, why is he ignoring us? Have we done something to make him cross? As Doris and Kevin wondered why Toby's shell was so silent and still, I happened to amble past. Morning all, what's new? Toby won't come out of his shell. We think he might be cross with us. <laughs> Nonsense. He's just sleeping in and needs a wake-up call. Must be awake now. No sign of it. Uh... As we puzzled over Toby's shell, Reginald the lion walked up. <laughs> Why are you all staring at Toby? Have you nothing better to do? He won't come out of his shell, Reginald. I thought he was asleep. We thought he was cross with us. <laughs> He's just being lazy and needs a good kickstart. <laughs> Reginald, I don't think it's working. Toby hasn't come out. How annoying. As we puzzled over Toby's shell again, Giggles and Tickles ran up to us. Uh, I bet we know what's wrong with Toby. He's bored. All we have to do is play with him and he'll come out. Hey. Hey, stop mocking about. Toby's not a toy. <laughs> That's enough of that. Friends don't throw each other around like that. Sorry, Toby. That was a silly thing for us to do. It certainly didn't help. Toby is still in his shell. Maybe Toby is ill. Oh, Kevin, you might be right. Let's take Toby to Uncle Gordon. He'll sort Toby out. So we took Toby to Dr. Gordon Gorilla, who was as busy as ever. Next. Always remember to look before you leap. Uh, next. Uh, just as I suspected, you have a tummy ache. 
Tobe is the patient today, Dr. Gordon. He won't come out of his shell. We thought he was cross with us. I thought he was sleeping. I thought he was being lazy. And we thought he was bored. Hmm, let me see. Uh, the problem is obvious. Really, Doctor? Is it serious? Oh, no. Toby's as fit as a fiddle. Although he does have something that is troubling him, only he can say what it is. Dr. Gordon left everyone feeling oh. very confused. How could we help Toby if he wouldn't tell us what was wrong? Then Doris came up with a bright idea. I know. Let's take Toby to see Audrey the Agony Aunt. Oh, yeah. She's the best at helping us with our troubles. When we arrived at Audrey's nest, Doris quickly explained the problem to her. Dr. Gordon said that Toby has troubles which only he knows, and as you are the best at trouble solving, we came to you. Please, can you help get Toby out of his shell, Audrey? I'll do my best, Kevin. Now, off you go, oh. all of you. I need to talk to Toby alone. Then Audrey leaned down to look at the dark hole inside Toby's shell. Tell me, Toby, what has frightened you? How did you know I was frightened? I'm very good at my job. So, what was it? Was it last night's thunderstorm? Wow! How did you know? I know thunder frightens almost everybody. It used to scare me, and I'd bury my head in the sand whenever a storm broke out. Used to scare you? Doesn't it anymore? No, because I found a way to get rid of my fear. Do you want to know how? Oh, yes, please. It's the sound of thunder that scared me the most, so I decided to block it out with these coconut ear protectors. Try these seashells on for size. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey! What? What? Toby and Audrey couldn't hear each other with their ear protectors on, but they did see an angry thundercloud passing overhead. Oh, no! Not again! Toby waited nervously for the thunder sound that follows lightning. But to his surprise, the sound didn't arrive. Audrey! There's no thunder! Thanks to their ear protectors, Toby and Audrey couldn't hear the thunder, so they weren't afraid of the storm. Yeah? Do you want to watch the lightning with me and Audrey? Is that okay with you, Nelson? Absolutely. This thunderstorm is amazing. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Lucy? Being afraid of thunder isn't the same as being afraid of spiders. Isn't it? Air protectors won't stop them from biting me. <gasps> this one hasn't bitten me. Go on, Lucy. Oh, oh, it's soft and furry. <laughs> it's tickling me. Hey, tickling's my job. Good night, Mr. Spider. Good night, everybody. Good night, Lucy!